Good morning. This is Ozark's Fox AM. Well, good morning. Can you believe it? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Well, this week has flown by for me. I don't know about you. Yes, same. It has flown by. By the way, I'm Jeremy Rabe with my special guest co-host, Ingrid Fair. Good to see you. Nice to see you. And you know what I should have done? Maybe I'll do it for next hour. You do, you've adopted two new babies. Yes. And I should have sent photos. I'll do that maybe throughout the show and we can show it second hour host chat. I forgot I should have done that. That's okay. We'll get to it. So how many babies you up to now? Nine. Nine? I thought my house was full with five dogs, two cats. Now you have nine dogs. Indoor. Indoor. Dogs. Wait, did you have any cats? No. Okay, I didn't. I was, I was at your house recently. Right. And I don't remember seeing any cats. Gary's allergic to cats. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Gary might be allergic to dogs, <laughs> but but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> you can. You ain't you got can, no say. You can buy a shampoo and you shampoo your dogs with it. It takes all the the dander away. Oh. And then they are. Non-allergic, te technically. Technically. By the way, if you want to know anything about dogs and uh, dog health care, call Ingrid. <laughs> she knows everything about everything. You were just telling me about all these things for flea and heartworm and worms. Oh and all that. I was like, wow, you know everything. <laughs> I know too much. <laughs> you know it. All. I was like, if I, I'm, I'm just calling Ingrid. I'm like, Ingrid, here's what's happening. <laughs> and she's like, okay, do this. That, I do that, though. Everybody yeah. calls me and says, what do I do for this? That, true. that it's true. It happens. But the good thing with uh, with Ingrid, not just the good thing, but the thing I relate to is she always adopts senior dogs who are unwanted. So recently, you've adopted a black one and a blonde one. Right. The girl is an English cream golden retriever, mm -hmm. and the boy we are currently doing a DNA a DNA test. <clears throat> so everybody's got to get their guesses in what he is. Oh. I say he is golden retriever. Now, now you got to remember, we were looking for a chocolate lab, and we have a golden retriever and a whatever he is. <laughs> golden retriever, <laughs> flat coat retriever, um, sheepdog. Oh, sheepdog. There you and go. What's, what's the really big, not the mastiff, but the one with the longer hair? You're asking the wrong person. What is it, Kaylee? Not that one, a different one. but. Yeah, but, I'm not good with breeds. But you're going to have to take a guess, and okay. and then we're going to, somebody's going to win something. Maybe the peanut butter cookie. Shetland Pony? Shetland Pony. Shetland Pony. This just in from Jake, who knows everything, too. Jake and Ingrid together is like a combination. Newfoundland. That's the dog I'm trying to think of. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. This must be a big dog. Big it's dog. a big dog. They're huge. It's a big dog. That, well, it? I showed yeah. you the picture yeah, of the dog on top of me. You, can, you cannot see me when the dog is on me. Okay, th you're gonna have to text me those photos here in yes, a second. Yes, we'll do it. And then I'm gonna send them, because you have to see these beautiful babies. And you do have so many beautiful babies. I loved being I at your house. You kept most of them kind of in, in their little area just because there's a lot of people there. Safe for them. <clears throat> yeah. And you have a dog, like my dog Bojangles with PTSD. Yes, which, which is, is challenging. <laughs> it is. Last night, I was telling Ingrid, last night I get up, you may be 12.30 to let the cat out. And I walked out and Bo just starts growling at me like I'm an intruder. And I'm like, <laughs> I feed you, Bo. I love oh my you. Goodness. And mine attacks you when you're sleeping. That's oh. a little rough. Oh, gosh. Ingrid, <laughs> that's not the way to, want to, be, to wake up. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, well, we're glad you're here. You're going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day craft for yeah, us later. Yeah, simple, easy, quick using some of the stuff we've used in the past. See, recycle, reuse, repurpose, I love it. All the time. Yes. Um, Jen, can, isn't it amazing? She's rescued nine dogs. I love that. That is amazing. Is it amazing or horrifying? <laughs> no, it is, it's amazing. We uh, recently got a puppy and with one dog, I'm like, this is a lot of work. I can't imagine with nine. But you know, we think about, oh, we should get a second one so she has some company and mm -hmm. a dog to play with. I because agree. Because at this point she thinks, we are dogs, or she thinks, she thinks right. she's human because yeah. she wants to play with us. And, and they're what is, pack animals. Mm -hmm. What is her so, name? What is your puppy's name? Reese. Her name is Reese. Aww. And also, we are trying to figure out what she is. Um, we, I want to do Aww. a DNA test just yes. out of curiosity. Do it. Just do it. You know, because I told my mom, like, we're not really sure. My mom was like, well, why does it matter? I'm like, it doesn't, but we're just curious. curious. Because she, you know, she used to look more like a boxer mix when she uh -huh. was, like, two weeks ago when she was little. She's still little, but she's growing so fast. But she also has 
has the face of um, a Jack Russell. We don't know. We know her mom is a lab blue healer mix. Okay. She has like tiny hints of blue healer we can see, but oh. the, like we don't know the other half, like what, it, yeah. So I might show you pictures of her. We can, might figure it out because you might know. Well, and it's so important for training. So, yeah, so that's true. So you train different dogs different ways based on their breeds. You're so. so right. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you a picture of it, and I can show you guys too if we have time. But we are still trying to figure oh. out. Oh, so cute. Like what? She's really what cute. Yeah, guys. she's cute, guys. We'll send that photo. Uh, yeah, I'll send Natalie too because I want to put her on <laughs> the weather. You know, the weather forecast. <laughs> we'll do it next week. So, yes, I want to check in with you guys on some entertainment news for Ooh, yes, headlines. Please. Okay. These are fun. I really like these. Frank Sinatra the latest legendary performer to have his story turned into a musical. Of course. I love musicals and this is promising. But you have to go to England to see it, at least at this point. Sinatra the musical debuts in Birmingham in the fall. His family says it's a chance to give fans a perspective of old blue eyes they've never seen before. Oh. I think it's gonna be great. I mean, there's so much good material for a musical there. And he has such a huge music catalog. Exactly. I can only imagine how that could tell the story mm -hmm. through music. You know, like Mamma Mia with ABBA's music. Yes. Right, exactly. Which I think to me is the best, like what they call a jukebox musical, because mm. it's based on music from a group. I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. It's Are you a Frank great. fan? I am. I like him. My mom always said he only sang five notes, but I disagree. <laughs> I mean, well, I can, I can, kind of. I can I'm not that. arguing kind with your of, mama. Yeah. Kind, kind of. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. You know, that's she good. felt he had a very low <laughs> yeah. range, but. Okay, that, I mean, that's fair. That's fair to say, I guess. Yeah, very so? good. I think it'll be good. So? <laughs> and sometimes, Jen, those things that start in London move to Broadway, so. Yes, so, so once it moves to this side across the ocean, then we'll get a chance to maybe go see it, because it's gonna cost a pretty penny too, so we start saving up now, we can uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> Musicals can be a little pricey sometimes. And yeah. the flight to England, if we had to go. Oh, if we had, exactly. If we had to go over there. Ouch. Exactly. I know, I can't yes. even imagine. Well, the Lady Gaga song, Hold My Hand from Top Gun, Maverick is nominated for an Academy Award. Here is something that we can just watch at home on Sunday, the Oscars. But Lady Gaga will not be performing at its Sunday at Sunday's Oscars. The show's producers say that she um, can't attend because she has scheduling conflicts. Gaga is currently shooting the Joker sequel with Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. By the way, I saw they released one photo from that, and I saw. Oh it yeah. With uh, it was Lady Gaga and Joaquin together. Your thoughts? Tell us what. Did, how does it look? Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like intense. Like mm -hmm. it was a very, it was a profile of them just like looking at each other, like mm -hmm. an intense scene they were shooting, oh. and I was like. Mm -hmm. I never saw the first Joker though with Joaquin. Oh my gosh, you have to see it. It's so good. I will, Such a good movie. I will tell you off camera oh. why somebody told me I shouldn't see it. But I Are you scared? Okay. I'm a little scared! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's intense. It's an intense movie. It's a lot. Um, so, yeah, I can I can see why some people are like, no, because, yeah, it's an intense movie, but it's really good. So, so. Jen, I wonder so. then, you just brought up a great point, because usually they try to get the person who sang the song to sing it on the Oscars. Is somebody mm -hmm. going to sing it in her place, do you think, or are they just going to not have a performance? That's a good question. I always loved it, like when Celine Dion sang My Heart Will Go On at the Oscars. Right. Mm -hmm. I like hearing the original person sing it at yeah. the Oscars. That's For a while, didn't they do it where somebody else had to sing it? That's true. And that was not, not as good. As good. Mm -hmm. not as and good. sometimes they did like a medley of the songs, not even the whole song, and I was like, if it's nominated for an Oscar, I think I should hear the whole song. I agree. Mm. You know, it's getting a, a big award. That's true, that's true. We'll have to see. I wonder, um, I think maybe just not have it be if people yeah. weren't happy with somebody else singing it. So that'll be something in interesting to find out on Sunday. Guess we'll find out Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know who looks like an Oscar winner? Is meteorologist Natalie Nunn. Mm -hmm. Always. You always look like, look, mm -hmm. walking the red carpet, look the, at you. The earrings mm -hmm. just are always on point. The but hair is working big. for you this morning. <laughs> you <big>. guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Make me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, Thank hey, you. 